It's your boy, Richie Ruckus. We're back here today. It's Wednesday, the middle of the week. The weekend is right in front of us. We are almost there. I know on Wednesdays, it's typically a soulmate series, but with everything that's been happening with my car and stuff like that, we're going to push soulmate series back to Thursday, and I'm going to be doing a video by myself today, so Niaja will rejoin us tomorrow on Thursday. A big reason for that is we did just get her a new pair of sneakers, and the tracking says that they should be here today. So we'll film the video for Thursday today. Get so confusing with the videos being a day behind. I film my videos a day before I upload them. So it's Tuesday for me, Wednesday for you. The sneakers are expected to be in Wednesday. So we'll film Thursday's soulmate series on Wednesday. Now that we got that all straightened out, today's video is going to be about Crep Protect. Right here in front of me, I have the Ultimate Shoe Care Pack. It's a limited edition. Not really sure what's limited about it since you can buy all this stuff separately and still buy this limited edition pack right now. I got mine on Amazon. It was $32.95. I will have the link down in the description if you guys want to buy it. I bought this because you get a little bit of everything. So inside the box, it has a few things. One, Crep Protect Wipes are essential for everyday use if you're out keep a crep protect in your pocket your backpack your purse if you're a lady you get something on your shoe throw this right on there nine times out of ten it will get whatever you got on your shoe off looks like there's about ten of them in there and then you have this which is you know essential the crep protect ultimate rain and stain barrier this is something that you spray on your shoes before you you know wear them before you go out into the world and this is the ones you see all the videos where people swear ketchup on their sneaker and it runs right off. This is essential to keeping your sneakers clean. Especially, this is imperative if you have the cream white Yeezys. Because them things are just a disaster waiting to happen with stains. So, this I know, fuego. Nine times out of ten, this works. The wipes, perfect. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be focusing... On the Crep Protect Cure, the shoe cleaner. It has the shoe cleaner. Crep Protect definitely did a good job packing the stuff. Then it's got the premium brush to use to clean the sneaker. A little Crep Protect rag. And why I'm doing this video is I've seen other sneaker vloggers, you know, clean shell toes or the original Stan Smith or you know, an Air Force One, like a leather-based sneaker where a stain really doesn't get into the material and sit in the shoe anyway. That's usual stuff that, you know, you can scrub with a toothbrush and get the dirt off. I mean, that's what I used to clean sneakers with before Crep Protect. So what I want to do is see if the Cure really works with a Yeezy, an Ultra Boost, a Fly Knit. You know, something where the material can absorb what's spilled on it and see if it gets it off. Now what I'm going to use for my model today is I have a pair of the Adidas Stan Smith Prime Nets. Now they're not destroyed by any stretch of the imagination but there are stains all throughout the white Prime Knit on the toe, on the side, on the back of the sneakers. Now I'm not going to go all crazy like these other vloggers do and they pour ketchup all over a leather sneaker or maple syrup all over a leather sneaker chocolate syrup all over a sneaker what I'm going to do is actually see if this cure gets these stains off of the sneaker that already exists that is my only goal with this this is just to see if it really works these are just nicks and scruffs and just dirt that's gotten all over the white prime that of these Stan Smiths. And I just want to see if the cure really does the work. I just want to get these back to looking as white as they were when I first bought them. Now I could go crazy and just pour stuff all over these. I only did pay $34. These were an outlet find of mine if you've seen that video. But I just cherish money and sneakers too much to risk the cure not working. Now if I do it on this prime and it gets these stains off, maybe I'll do an even further you know, crazier video where I just completely destroy a pair of sneakers and see how good 
the crap protect cure can get them back to 100%. But, you know, I don't trust these Instagram videos the crap protect puts out. And it's not a knock on them. They're trying to sell their product. But when you show a Yeezy buried in mud, I don't know how good the crap protect really is when to get that stuff off. And I just want to see firsthand. I haven't seen too many sneaker vloggers attempt to get, you know, stains out of prime with this crap protect. So that's what I'm going to try today. But before we jump into that, if you already have been, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're feeling the content your boy's putting out there, hit that thumbs up and follow me on all social. That's it, guys. You ready to go dig into this crap protect? We're going to go down. I'm going to throw these on the table, have enough room, space to try to get the job done. Let go. All right, guys. So we have the crap protect cure, crap protect brush, crap protect little sham cloth right here that we're going to use to dry the sneakers once we clean. We have the Stan Smiths right here. First thing you want to do is you want to take the shoelaces out. Next, you want to have a bowl of warm water. You want to take the lid off of the crap protect cure. You want to dip the brush into the warm water. Spray a generous amount of the crep protect onto the brush, dip back into the bowl. Now, we're gonna get the scrubbing. I'm gonna look for the worst part, and it's gotta be this shoe. So we're gonna focus on this shoe in this area for the most part is where this sneaker is really bad. So we're gonna get the brush. get every part of the, of the prime knit. The prime knit is what we're the main focus here. We want to see if this Prepper Tech really gets the stains out of the prime knit. And what's going to be a testament to this is I haven't worn these sneakers since probably mid-June. Well, the stains are from about mid-June and it's mid-August. And so it's had over the 12 hour you know, dry time that they recommend, but I mean, it's doing a pretty good job. We want to dip the, just put the laces right in the crap protect water. The water with the crap protect cure. Let them sit in there. Now I'm gonna get the tail. A little crap protect cloth here and just kinda even the major scruffs that were on the sole. I mean I could if I wanted to I could sit here. And, and probably scrub these stains off of the sole. I mean, I gotta lay out for more time to dry, but from what I see, that prime that is pretty immaculate. And that was just a quick, you know, overview to see if the stuff really worked. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I thought that the Crep Protect did a good enough job on the prime that it says right on the, it says right on the case, you know, to just repeat if you don't feel like it's getting a good enough job done. Um, they're still drying, but it, it looked like, I mean, they were at least back to like 95%. I could probably do one more clean and get them completely back to 100. But I was trying to keep the video short and just show you guys a little bit of how it actually does get the stains off of Prime Knit. But I guess that's it. We'll be back tomorrow for the Soulmate series. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! Richie Ruckus, bitch.